What's up guys, welcome back to another vlog. It's your boy Lance. Today we have some WRX content. If you guys haven't seen the last video, we went ahead and revealed the new project car. Got my boy Christian over here. What's up, what's up? Chris over there. Jen say hi. <laughs> Thanks to Christian. He wanted to help me kind of grow the channel, figure do some WRX content. Uh, we went ahead, revealed the car, the last video, and then we put on the new Fly One or Varus, whatever it is aggressive front bumper this thing just looks sick and we have a lot more in store so today we're going to be working on doing the hood from what i understand it's carbon fiber but not the traditional carbon fiber like you see on my car but we have it set right here we're going to reveal it christian bought a honeycomb i don't know how honeycomb is going to look like honestly i haven't seen honeycomb ever before i've only seen just regular weave carbon and i've seen dry carbon christian all, right. all you bro Dude, look at that carbon. It's like weaved, but at the same time patterned with the honeycomb hexagons. This is a hexagon, right? Yeah. Hexagon is six sides, right? Hex. Okay. <laughs> hey, where was this made? Look at that. How do you spell Subaru? <laughs> I think somebody was hungry and just wanted Sabaros. <laughs> Some pizza or pasta. From what I understand, it's gonna be a simple install. We have three nuts right here, two up here, and three down over here. Now this took way longer than we expected because we had to do some cutting over here on the front side and we still gotta get some fitment done correctly but today we're gonna be working with the hood. 20 minute stops. We're gonna get everything unbolted and bolted on in 20 minutes. I didn't go seek. No, it's sealed. Where? Is it hot? Right here, yeah. Oh. 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 Here we yeah, go. Good sample. Chopstick master. Here, babe, hold this. Make sure you don't drop it inside there. No need magnet. Oh. Look at that precision, guys. Veins popping out of his neck and all. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the head? That yellow head right down there. <laughs> can I, I get him? See that. <laughs> tag, tag. Let's see, let's tag, see, tag let's in, see. Tag in. Okay, what thing's there? Oh, right there. See him. See him. Right here, right here. Where, where our fish will stay. Everybody getting into fishing, I don't know. Did you just switch from your right hand to your left hand? Yes, I can see it better. I'm being dexterous, yeah? Oh, I'm being dexterous. I know, I can't even eat with my left hand. <laughs> Unless I'm using bare hands. I think you guys need a big boy. Show you guys how to eat. You like sample? Hello? Let's go, let's one. go there. Here you go, you go. Here, go, go, go. Here you, hold, you hold the camera. <laughs> switch, 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 switch. Switch. It's never easy. All right, Lance, tagged in. Let me show all these skinny boys how to eat. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait, did I mention I'm on a diet though? <laughs> <laughs> this is how you know it's a real ricer. <laughs> Automatic. Chopsticks for the rice. Who said 20 minutes? If this hose was out of the way, or I kind of put tape on the chopstick, double-sided tape. Reinforcing with double-sided tape. Channel your inner Mr. Miyagi. If this chopstick was like a few inches longer, I would have got it. Oh, you got him. Ah, ooh, that's hot. Or right there, right there. Right there. She's <laughs> coming now. She's coming. <laughs> Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Oh! <laughs> what the f dog? Where'd it go? Oh, dog. Oh, oh, where'd it go? Wait. Oh, it's right here, right here. It's higher now. Right here. Oh, right there. Oh, I see it, I see it. Oh, dude, if you lost that, bro, that would have sucked. Woo! Yes! <laughs> see, like what we said, 20 minutes, not really. So, first fitment problem these holes are too small. I'm assuming this is fiberglass, so the fiberglass is literally closing in on the thread, so it's not even exposing the thread. Same thing for this bottom one over here. So what we're gonna do is probably just drill it out, and then hopefully we'll get it on. Oh, 
sweet. So it drops all the way down. Hit the ground. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, Dad. Okay, you know what? This is a fire hazard, but I'm going to do it anyway. I am not going to risk it again. Okay, hurry up. Before this catches on fire. Yeah. Are you? First test. Dude, just look at the detail of this. How's the spacing? Spacing is, I think that side is wider. So this side's a little bit thicker than the other side. Let's open it back up again. And then what we do is gonna take the the hinges, the four, the two bolts on each side, yeah. and then shift it just so slightly. All right, so when it comes to adjusting your hood, you can get everything bolted on, but just the minor, minor millimeters, that's the part where you're gonna have to tweak out. It's just simply undoing the bolts just a little bit shift it to whatever side you need to and then we get everything and we'll put it down that looks way better now all right new hood three two one Damn, this thing looks real good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oops. Good job, team. Good job, team. Good job, team. <laughs> Took longer than 20 minutes, but... <laughs> Dude, this yeah. thing looks amazing. To kind of protect the carbon because it's not finished with anything other than just a factory resin and clear coat or gel coat, we use like a ceramic soap as well as the ceramic like spray on wax. That's just for now. What I do recommend if you do get carbon fiber, the best way to do it is get the best UV protectant clear coat for the carbon fiber and then get a ceramic coated or get those, um, I think what are those called? Like the PPF like the paint protection film, but the clear ones, just to get the maximum protection for your car's carbon fiber. Carbon fiber is not cheap, so if you're gonna already spend a lot of money on carbon fiber, you might as well go the extra mile and just do the right steps to protect it, so. New carbon fiber hood is done. If you guys haven't done so, please make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. We got a lot more WRX content. You guys know we got NSX content. We still got the GTR. The wheels are coming very soon. By the end of the month, they'll be done, shipped to California. And once it passes everything from California, then it'll be sent to me. Long process, but it's worth the wait. All right, by the time you can see this video, it's already December. I'm literally trying to catch up on vlogs. Just the whole Thanksgiving weekend kind of backed me up. So this video was actually filmed about a week and a half ago. Nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I really thank you guys so much if you guys actually watched to the end of the videos. It really means a lot to me. Also, just a quick update on the car. I have maybe like two more packages. Oh no, actually three more packages coming in. Those are gonna be the final pieces for the car. Just to give you guys a heads up for the month of December, I have two island rides already done. I'm probably gonna drop one island rides video this week and then I'm gonna drop another one the following week. These next two island rides, they're long overdue, but I really wanted to get these done and huge shout out to the guys that were willing to be a part of island rides. I am gonna say that these are two wide body builds as well. So make sure you guys check those out. Depending on when you guys see this, I'll have the link posted up right here for you guys. So it's literally 1.30 in the morning and I'm really trying to get all these videos done and I'm really working hard to try and push out more content, especially for this month. We're trying to go out with a bang. I'm trying to push out as much videos as possible. And at the same time, I'm still trying to like figure out I don't know how to say it, but it's like, I'm trying to figure out the most efficient way of trying to edit videos so that way I can kind of push them out a little bit faster. Also another thing too, if you guys have any like constructive criticism for the vlogs and whatnot, or some stuff that you guys feel I should add within the vlog, I really do like seeing constructive criticism and it's kind of like a better, it's kind of like a way for me to kind of better myself as far as like creating more content for you guys as well. If you guys have any suggestions or any critiques for the vlogs, please make sure you guys drop it down in the comments. If you guys love the vlogs, also show some love as well but yeah december is really hectic again you guys know that i'm trying to balance work as well as trying to finish the car at the same time there's so much stuff going on and especially with the holiday season like 
you know, the whole balance of everything. I'm just trying to work it out as best as possible. Just to give you guys kind of like a glimpse or reality of what my day kind of consists of, it's pretty much wake up, do all of like the videos and stuff and make content for you guys throughout the day because I work at nights. And then when I come home from work, I still like stay up and just grind away with videos as much as I can. So yeah, show some love for the channel if you guys haven't done so. Make sure you guys subscribe. It's almost go time, guys. Like I'm telling you right now, we are in the midst of finally getting the car done i really want to do a photo shoot with the car like with the new wheels but not painted yet because i think it would just be cool just to kind of see more of like the progression shots of the car which is bare pieces nothing painted so i think that's what i'm gonna do first and i'm also gonna be doing all the other stuff and if you guys been following the vlogs from the beginning you guys know that i still have to service the car i'm literally gonna do the service in my garage because servicing a nissan gtr it's fairly simple. We're also going to be putting a few bolt-on mods and I have a little surprise for you guys. The package is sitting right in front of me, but I'm not going to show it to you guys yet. I am going to create a video for it though, but be on the lookout for that as well. I'm super excited to actually have this company be part of the build. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that as well. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you guys drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. You do not want to miss out for all the stuff that's going to be coming within the next few months. I am determined, I'm really determined to get the car done as early as possible. And I've said this many times and I'm gonna say it again, I really do thank you guys so much for the support and support for the build and for the encouragement on getting the car done. It's a long process, but at the end of the day, it's gonna be all worth the wait and I promise you guys that. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember that you guys are all called to be great, be great in your own way and always remember, challenge your standards.